Oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is Supreme Dragon of Hidden Dragon coming at you with an updated spellbook uh, profile. Don't forget to like and subscribe buttons down below. Uh, check us out Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And be sure to check out my Facebook page and eBay page, as all videos will be posted on Facebook as well. Don't forget to comment down below what you think of my spellbook deck. So to start things off, the searcher of the deck, we run three copies of Spellbook Magician, or Blue Boys, a lot of people refer to them as. This lets you add one Spellbook card from your deck to your hand. So typically going to go grab uh, either Crescent Secrets or Masters, depending upon what your setup is. Like, or if you happen to already have all of those, or any of those in hand, go ahead and grab uh, Wisdom, Fate, uh, tower, whatever. We run three copies of Temperance. Whenever you activate a spell book that turn, you can send this to the graveyard. Special summon uh, one from your uh, is it hand and deck or just your deck? Uh, from your deck. Level 5 light or dark. So typically you're going to either go grab Priestess or World depending upon what you need. Speaking of which, I run three copies of Priestess, and the reason I run three is because I want to see this as soon as possible. Same with uh, Temperance, and same with Spellbook Magician, and because we run a lot of spellbooks, it thins out the deck really fast, so I really want to see this card as soon as possible. And then I run two copies of World. I find one not enough, three too cloggy, two just to be perfect, and it works especially well with off of life plays or a uh, card in my extra deck, Herald of uh, Pure Light works really well. So then we also have for level sixes, one Reaper, uh, one Prophecy Destroyer. Uh, if you have three or more spell books in Graveyard and this card, you can banish three spell books to special summon this guy. And then I run one copy of Reaper of Prophecy. Uh, when this card is normal or special summon, uh, you can apply the following effects based upon the number of spell books uh, in your currently in your graveyard. Three or more, it gains 600 attack. Four or more, uh, add a spell book. Five or more, uh, you can special summon another level five or higher dark spellcaster from your deck. So if you have five or more in there, you can do all three. So it would be 2600, add a spell book, and special summon Reaper. I mean, Destroyer. And one Justice of Prophecy. Uh, that way, if I need to, I can set up for my Priestess play next turn. And to help with the negations, three copies of Effect Veiler. That does it for monsters. Now for spells, uh, three copies of Spellbook Library of the Crescent. Uh, grab three different spell books from your deck. Uh, shuffle them face down. Your opponent picks one to put in your hand. The other two go back to the deck. You don't activate this while there are no spell books in your grave. So, Fate really helps out with making keeping sure this card stays alive. And we run three copies of Secrets. This lets you search out any other spellbook card, including Spellbook Magician. Pretty self-explanatory. Two copies of Spellbook of the Master. This card copies any uh, normal spellbook spell card in the graveyard. It gets its effect, but you have to reveal a spellbook card and have a spellbook caster on field. Three copies of Spellbook of Eternity. The reason I'm running three is because of banishing so many uh, spell books, you want to be able to recycle as much as possible. Two copies of power to help add spell books to your uh, hand, as well as giving your spell casters that additional thousand point boost that they probably that they might need to get over uh, problematic cards. We got two copies of wisdom to protect against dark hole and uh, trap cards. The one copy of fate which lets you basically banish uh, well you banish one you return a uh, set 
Spell or trap card on the field. Banish two. Change the monster's battle position. Banish three. Banish a monster. Typically, you're going to go for the three play pretty much all the time. Uh, two copies of life. Banish one spellcaster. Uh, well, reveal. Uh, spell book card. Banish one spellcaster. Special summon another spellcaster. So it works with uh, getting priestess and world back on the field. Two copies of spellbook, spell, uh, the Grand Spellbook uh, Tower. This helps you recycle your spellbooks from your graveyard as well as add draw power. Uh, one copy of Book of Moon to help with the whole resetting of things and protecting cards. And two traps, Fiendish Chains, to slow down your opponent and make sure they don't get their effects off. That's it for the main deck. For the extra deck, uh, one copy of Ancient Pixie Dragon, and the reason I choose, chose this card uh, was that with Tower on field, you can uh, after you activate this field spell, you can draw a card, and then uh, once per turn, you can target one face-up attack position card on the field, destroy that target. But you have to have Tower on field to use it. Not something I go into all that often, but it does provide a little extra draw power and popping power uh, as needed. And for Xyz, rank 2's we have Armored Kappa, Herald of Pure Light. For 3's, Fortune Tune, Levy Air, Alucard, and Chronomaly. For 4's, Downward Magician, and Digusto Emerald. And for 6's, Photon Strike Bouncer, Norito, uh, which uh, lets you, during either player's turn, uh, when your opponent activates a spell or trap card, you can detach one material and then negate and destroy that card. And M7. And for sevens, number 11, Draco Sack, and Hierophant of Prophecy. That does it for the extra deck. Now for my side deck choices which allows me to basically switch between the priestess variant and the uh, more the other one that was really popular during its uh, heyday run against dragon rulers so I run two copies of summoner monk this allows me to kinda go into uh, my other rank four and just kinda annoy my opponent Two copies of Breaker for that added popping effect. Two copies of Kaiku to get rid of their uh, monsters. Or banish them. Two copies of Jalgen for the lockdown effect. Two copies of Star Hall for, uh, for the additional uh, 100 point boost, which, like I said, it. Uh, pretty much locks down my opponent. And to complete the lockdown, two copies of Secret Village of the Spellcasters. As long as you control a spellcaster, uh, you can activate spell cards, but your opponent can't, unless they have a spellcaster monster. So, it's a really uh, great card to uh, throw a lot of people off balance. Uh, one soul charge, again, just for that added effect and two copies of and the band played on again for that stun aspect that uh, shuts down and slows your opponent down that basically says neither player can uh, special summon monsters with the same level or rank as they currently control so it kind of keeps stuff clear the field clear of uh, being overran so yeah this has been my uh, spellbook deck profile don't forget like and subscribe buttons down below Check me out on Facebook. Uh, check us out Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And leave a comment what you think of spellbooks. This is Supreme Dragon of Hidden Dragon signing out.